Right now, you're probably feeling scared, confused, and worried. If you're considering an adoption plan for your baby, undoubtedly you'll wonder how you'll feel after you sign the consent to adoption. You know, you don't, you don't carry a baby for nine months um, inside of your body and not be attached. I don't think that's humanly possible. And I just really prepared myself as much as you can. You don't know how it's going to hit you when you're going through it. You may think you have an idea, but you really don't. After giving birth to him and holding him and being with him for a period of time, um, I called Steve and said, you know, don't even think about coming over here. I, I don't want to discuss this. I don't want anybody to come and see me. I need um, time. When I was in the hospital, I was there for two days and he was in the room with me every minute, but a couple when they had to take him away for a little testing, but the nurses knew he had to be with me. Those 48 hours was my lifetime with him and um, I took advantage of every single second. And it was during those 48 hours that I was with him. Um, that I came to the same decision that I'd come to months before, that nothing had changed since I'd given birth. I was still the same person that I was. I, I still um, lacked all the things that I needed to be a mom. And that my love for him wasn't gonna be enough. And I knew that I still had to go through with um, what I knew in my heart was really the best thing to do. When I gave birth, both my parents were there in the room with me, which gave me an incredible amount of strength. Uh, they really helped get me through it. Um, I chose not to see him right away. I, I didn't want emotions to overpower logic at that point in time. I waited to see him until after the papers were signed. There's no two ways about it. You're gonna go through a grieving and mourning process if you proceed with an adoption plan. It will be the most difficult decision you ever make. But just because it's a difficult decision doesn't mean that it's a bad one. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And now, looking back, realizing that it was just a beginning, not an ending. Um, but at that moment, it's pretty tough to think about it that way. Everyone handles the process differently. Some women have a harder time than others. But through counseling, which we'll make available to you if you wish, you'll be able to work through your grief and come to peace with your decision and realize that you have made the best possible decision for your baby. If you make an adoption plan, you're not abandoning or giving away your baby. Instead, you're giving your baby a chance for a bright future filled with opportunities and a loving and secure home. And that's a very motherly thing to do. There is life after adoption for the birth moms. Um, a very positive, a very happy life. Adoption has, it's been incredible influence in my life. It allowed me to sit back and say, okay, I've made a decision for my son to give him the best life that he, that he can have and that he deserves. So why wouldn't I give that to myself? And I think it was Steve said to me, when he grows up, and he learns about his adoption. You want him to think of his birth mom as somebody who um, got on with her life and turned it into something positive. You don't want him to know one day that it was his birth and your decision for him to be in the family that he's in now um, that it destroyed you. And I still remember that to this day. So I kind of turned my loss and my decision into a positive. And I was determined to go back to college and to get my degree because in 21 years, if I were face to face with him again, I want him to be proud of me. I want him to know that I made that decision and we both lived a better life because of it.